in sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. Every year's the same. Hi guys, it's Michael here. Hope you're good. Hope you're doing well. I'm here again with another Darkside Phil video. This time I'm gonna focus on one of his playthroughs. Um, I was looking at his fair FIFA 15 playthrough uh, and thought, why not give this a closer look? So we're going to do that today. We're gonna look at how he played, um, how he scored, and how it viewed. So let's get right into that. First and foremost, this is not Phil's first FIFA. He originally played FIFA 12 back in 2011, and he had a lot of uh, trouble with that. So one of the first things he did this time around was he um, he made no bones about it. He said he knew nothing about soccer aside from the basic rule set, and he wanted to approach it accordingly. So he started the lowest difficulty and then worked his way up there. One of the shortfalls of this was he began with beginner difficulty and with all the settings that entails. So he had things like auto player switching which would catch him out um, once or twice and auto substitu substitutions which would prove an annoyance for Phil even though it was a setting he chose. Phil would quickly move on from beginner after an 8-0 victory which saw him run right uh, against um, I think it was Wanderers and one game after that uh, Phil would get himself a 3-0 win and then decide to move up to semi-pro which was where he stayed for the uh, remainder of the playthrough. When it comes to the sports fundamentals um, Phil managed to grasp the, the passing nature of the game pretty well in the, the uh, tutorial match against Manchester City. He was passing the ball around pretty good. Um, Another corner kick. He did struggle to find shooting. Um, as usual, Phil didn't look up the controls before he started playing, so he was kind of just winging it and just hitting buttons to see what would work. Uh, he played the game very much on the ground uh, when it comes to things like crossing, uh, he would only seem to do that by accident. He very much found a way to play this game and stuck by it religiously. As a result, he would pass things short and once he got into the meat of the career mode he would almost treat it like a running game um, and he would run the ball quite a lot before getting into the box Marco. and shooting from about five yards. So it's a very safe approach, uh, very gamey, um, but it got results for him and he was having fun. So I can't really blame him for it. Oh, here's a chance! How do you shoot? I don't know how to shoot! What button is it? Ah! Oh! Shoot! Yeah! What? I don't know how to shoot. He was wide open. I don't know how to Defensively, though, he, um, when he was called he into like question it off. No! and when he was beaten, it was because his defense was very static. Uh, again, a lot of the problems stemmed from that first tutorial match against Manchester City, where you just dumped into a match called Turkey. And as a result, Phil was. My goalie sucks. Very lost do about Watch this goalie. how to defend there. and you know Good. how to prevent I think the goalie actually dodged goals the ball. Look. The goalie actually tried to get out of the way. <laughs> Great. Matches the city in front. As the playthrough goes on, he does defend better. He uh, he gets some challenges in. Uh, he is occasionally bad tempered which I guess is 
half of the course and nice. he manages to I come do. away with I believe it's six clean sheets in the uh, eight or so games that he played so Almost. he was doing something right defensively uh, he was containing th problems and you know even if it was on a lower difficulty he managed to deal with what was thrown at him so fair play to him on that too high Phil was streaming at this high. time um, he did consult the stream chat to begin with but um, oh, as soon as he was one, starting other. to play the game for real he uh, tended to leave those guys to take a back seat oh, oh. Uh, as a result they couldn't necessarily offer advice on how to approach the sport luckily there are plenty of training drills in FIFA to hone your skills um, and as luck would have it he was given crossing drills and heading drills uh, he did quite well at the heading drill um, he took an age to get the crossing drill right uh, I don't know if this has kind of impacted why he didn't use crossing or whether it's just a case of he found a thing that was working keeping the ball on the ground and just running it um, it could be that he just played it like a game, like a game rather than a sport which was strange but maybe it was expected Got all four! Damn! I did amazing at this one! He seems so bad at himself. Are you kidding? Look at his points! Look at the freaking points, dude! Launch a long ball or the little cross. Dude, I was only supposed to get 5,000, I got 9,801. Even on corner kicks, he would just pass the ball along the ground. Damn, He'd actually get a couple of goals this. out of that. So again, I think that just tells you how accommodating the AI was, even on those, you know, lower difficulties. Um he was caught out uh, twice by when um, it was Toronto and um, Jimmy and Defoe basically just decided to run the game and it resulted in some serious assault. Are you changing the guy I'm controlling when I'm right there? To... Uh, it's annoying. It's I'm trying probably to the, the highlight of the playthrough, just playing. listening to him go through the offer. His voice almost breaks. And... You can see it for yourself here, if you want. Break this guy's fucking legs! See, they did it again right there, dude! No, that's not fucking- wait, it's not fucking fair! I'm controlling the guy right in front of him, I'm, and then all of a sudden they change to another guy, so I run in the wrong direction and leave him wide open. How is that my fucking fault? That is a dumb game mechanic, why are you constantly changing the character I'm playing? I don't want to do that. The only reason he scored is because my guy ran the wrong way with a change. That's fucking annoying. Another thing Phil reacted badly to was uh, when he accidentally selected uh, the B Pro situation where he was just controlling his pro player rather than the entire team uh, rather than engage with the mechanics of that mode and you know say something new and try something new out what he did was he immediately hit the menus and tried to find a way out this freaking blows the frame rate's terrible too I don't want to do this I don't want to play it like this this sucks Fuck this, I want to cancel the game. Oh, on loan. I have a loan listed you and I will let you know when I receive an offer. Following your loan spell, you will return and we will revisit your position then. What? He's do He basically downgraded me. He wants to get rid of me. What? As well as conceding the goals against Toronto, he uh, found himself a little peeved that... Um, he wasn't getting the game time from his manager at um, Seattle so he kind of became a well he was back to his childish best uh, let's put it that way um, 
So he basically um, put himself down to be loaned out and simmed a lot of the games because he wasn't getting the game time. So if he's not getting the game time, then he's going to throw his toys out of the pram. Plus, to be fair, simmed matches aren't really the best thing to watch. If you're coming for a FIFA playthrough, you want the time on the pitch. So I can't blame him for that. But I did enjoy his reaction. Sim Matt, he's never picking me to play. What's the point of fucking doing this? Well, seriously. I don't think I'm ever going to play again. So what about Phil's results and Phil's performances? Well, we can see on this sheet that uh, he's played eight matches. Won five, drawn two, and lost one. That one being the Manchester City tutorial match. So, if you consider that just a dead rubber, then effectively Phil lasted the session without facing defeat. Which was more than I expected, to be honest. Uh, he scored 18 goals and conceded five. Um, again, it's a positive goal difference. Um, obviously, eight of those goals came against Wanderers in that beginner match. And we, if we were to consider just the competitive fixtures, uh, then he's played three, won two, and drawn one. So again, undefeated. Scored four, conceded two. Those two being against Montreal. Looking into the 18 goals that Phil scored in this session, um, we can see that they've all been from very close range. None of them have been outside the 20 yard box. Um, and a lot of them, nothing seems to get any further out than the penalty spot. So you're talking 12 yards. Uh, the majority of them, on average, we're talking about 7.5 yards in terms of where he would score from. Interestingly, if you added all those up, you would um, get 138 yards, which is 8 yards longer than the longest possible football pitch. So he is very uh, close range when it comes to his goals. Uh, he's what you would describe as I wouldn't even describe him as a poacher because what he tends to do is just kind of dribble up to them and then shoot at the last possible second. It's all very safe, but it was getting them goals. And the AI certainly helped that. One thing we're also looking at is uh, Phil's goal ratio, as in Phil's be a pro player. Um, he played seven matches and he scored five, uh, which put him, it gave him a ratio of 0.7 goals a game, which is on par with Cristiano Ronaldo, who, you know, at the moment, he and Lionel Messi are right in history. So if Phil continued to play this for a full season, he could have broken a few records. Competitively, his ratio is a bit higher than that. He played in three competitive matches and he scored in two of them. Two against Montreal and one against, uh, I think it was Vancouver. Yes. And then when he went to Motherwell, it was all friendlies. So, Phil himself, as a striker, was certainly getting the results. As was the team in general. Finally, let's close with the views. He has nine parts to this playthrough. He has the introductory match, a uh, second part is where he creates his pro player and then the rest of them are all matches. One match to each part and he does um, he does lower the half time by a couple of minutes so he does do like 
four minutes a half, I think. Which makes the parts a lot more shorter. I think that was part of the problem with uh, the Wanderers match, was there was just so much time to play. And at such a lower difficulty, you could get yourself into double figures there. But I digress. Uh, I've got a graph here with the views. This was all uh, recorded on DSP Gaming. Um, sorry, uploaded on DSP Gaming for September the 23rd. Um, all these parts are from the same session, so they've all been uploaded on the same day. And you can see the strongest part, as always, is the first part, but it's by quite a margin. Uh, at present, this is obviously two years after, uh, sorry, almost three years after it was posted. You've got 101,330 views. And then beyond that, there is a steep decline. In his player creation one, he gets 20,000. Then that slides just slightly to 17,000. And then beyond that, you're talking about views of between 5,000 and 6,000. Um, so at some point it levels out. You're always going to have that boost at the first part. But, and also, let's be honest, FIFA is a popular franchise. Football is a popular sport. And a lot of people will just kind of seek that content out or... Given that this was three years ago, Phil is was then a lot more popular, a lot more likely to turn up in these search results. So he was getting a lot of um, an audience for that first part through that. And then it kind of drops significantly and then sort of steadies out. Uh, it could probably indicate why Phil didn't persist with this. But it's also arguable that Phil maybe wasn't going to invest too much time into it, regardless. And that's kind of the tale of the tape, really. God damn it, how do you so stop me from doing this? So, what's my verdict on Phil's playthrough? Well, he enjoyed himself. Let's be fair, he um, picked the game up. He um, started at the lowest possible point and worked his way up. There we go. Uh, he certainly didn't the ball. quite grasp all the fundamentals, but he found a way to play that game that got him results. Uh, right there to... And he it's annoying. sounded to like he was having a lot of fun. The guy I'm playing. Ends up in the wrong so direction. fair play, Phil. You've slightly redeemed yourself. Break this um, fucking yeah. See, they That's gonna do it. Right there, and no, I'll see you guys next time right. with fair. more content. I'm controlling the guy right some of it of them, related, and then all of a sudden it changed to another guy, so I run in the wrong direction and leave him wide open. Like, comment, subscribe. How is that my fucking fault? Let me know what you'd that like to see in the future. Why are you constantly changing Let the me know what you think of this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Take care.